Hey guys, so in my previous video I was using Flicker with Karina, but this time I decided to try her as a jungler instead. You'll be surprised at how fast she can farm the jungle and how her damage will scale like crazy. I usually level up her second skill first, but here I saw that we had a good chance at getting the first blood, so I decided to level up her first skill to slow down Angela. But honestly, it didn't make that much of a difference. When playing as a jungler, I like to upgrade the jungle item to tier 2 before buying the boots because this way I will gain more experience and clear the jungle a lot faster. Once I reach level 4, I will usually go to the enemy's marksman lane to gank, because if we can delay her farm, it will make the game a lot easier. Unfortunately, we missed a lot of our skills here. Maybe I should have waited until Kufra charged his first skill first. Thanks to Karina passive, she can take down the turtle and lord extremely fast. I wanted to take down the middle turret so badly, but honestly, this was such a terrible play. I should not have sacrificed my life for a turret. Well, there are some moments in life when you just question yourself, why did I do such a thing in the first place? Actually, it was all according to plan. I did this on purpose, so you will know that this is a bad play and you should not do such a thing. I'm willing to sacrifice my KDA just so you can learn what not to do. No need to thanks me. Winky face. Okay, now that we got the bad example out of the way, let me show you some good examples, yeah? It's really important to keep looking around the map and check if there's any target in low HP. Remember, when you do good things in life, you will usually escape like this. Good karma is a real thing, you know. That's why, if you also want some good karma in life, I would highly suggest you to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, so you will also be able to survive like this.
Remember, the lower the HP the target has, the more damage Karina will deal. So even if you see a tank, don't be afraid to attack them too. You usually want to use her skill in this sequence in order to deal the max damage. You want to use her first skill first to get closer to the fighting scene, but don't basic attack yet. Then use her ultimate to instantly get on top of the target, especially if it's a very squishy hero. Then do a basic attack and lastly her second skill. Just make sure to always target the squishy and low health hero first. I'm telling my teammates not to kill the turtle because we can just kill the lord instead. If the target has a dash skill, then usually you want to save her ultimate until the target has wasted it. If you see that your teammates miss their skills, then just retreat and wait for better timing. Okay, I gotta admit it, I got completely beta here. He waited until I have used my ultimate before using his dash. Well played, sir. Karina has such insane damage that she can kill many marksmen almost instantly. Remember, you can draw Karina's ultimate to target the hero that you want. Sometimes you gotta chase the kill. I know, I know. Objective is way more important than kills but sometimes killing is way more fun than just ending it. Please don't dislike the video. Your team destroyed the turret! Mega kill! I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, 
consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks.